Let me tell a tale, my child. Hush now, and listen well. How a queen the wrong one scorned, on her daughter the price fell. A beautiful girl, a princess most fair, and a kingdom lost for many a year. Guests for her baptism were picked with care, lest the wicked fairy appear. But she wanted revenge for such an abuse. Uninvited came she with an ominous gift. She shan't live long, the hag cursed and broke loose. A spindle will prick her, in death she shall drift. From the fairies came prompt a spell to help out, but the evil was strong and too hard to undo. The worst was averted, but as fate played out, the girl fell asleep, and the kingdom did too. A kiss will save her, one of true love, but many have tried and met their demise. Of that prince, though, pure like a dove, some say he'll go far to prove otherwise. What up, nerds? It's Pweet. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of 24 Games to Christmas. Today we're playing Little Briar Rose, a beautiful glass-stained art puzzle adventure thing. As you can hear, <laughs> I brought my sexy voice. <laughs> Perfectly for a game where I have to read a lot, right? Yeah, it's still there. It's not going away. I don't know why. It's annoying. Ah, I wish it would just go away. I want my voice back. <laughs> uh, I just did a dumb thing. As you can see, there's already a continue. <laughs> I was playing through a whole chapter already. And then I noticed I wasn't recording. Yeah. Anyways. Let's just jump right in. Start completely new. We haven't seen anything. Finally, I have arrived to the outskirts of the Enchanted Forest. It has been a long journey. But this is the last obstacle I shall challenge. It's me, Prince Stephen. I, who will save Princess Aurora, who according to the legend lies sleeping beyond this enchanted forest. Yeah. So, as you heard, saw in the uh, intro already, this is Sleeping Beauty. And we are playing as not just one prince, we are playing a series of prince. Says, <laughs> trying to save Aurora. And this is our first prince. Let's see what he can do. And yet, the thorny prize and way denser than I expected. Will my sword be enough to carve a passage through these brambles? Oh! But what happens? It almost seems like an invitation to enter deep into these thorns. What? A fairy? Welcome, O oh adventurer. I am the fairy who warns whoever dares to access the enchanted forest. What brings you here? I am here to rescue Princess Aurora and, un and unchain her from her doom. Oh, I see. So there's still a man gifted with bravery in this world. I wish you the best of luck. The journey will not be easy. You shall prepare yourself to face this adventure. The forest is enchanted and many have lost their way there in times past. 
irritating the small frog will mark your end, so be kind and generous with them. I thank you for your advice. I shall be careful. Use the mouse to move around and interact with the environment. To open the inventory, click on the back icon in the upper right corner of the screen. I don't know why I screamed that, but it was all caps. <laughs> if you're stuck, you can receive a hint from the fairy. Click the fairy icon in the upper right part of the screen to ask for your help. You can save the game at any time by coming back here and speaking with a fairy. Good luck on your quest, Prince. Well, thank you. Let's do this. I'm Prince Stephen. Hello. Alright. Hello, there's the castle. Hello. Okay. Proceeding seems impossible with all these brambles. It will not be an easy feat. Okay, let's just look around. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So what I just learned from my mistake first, I, there's no interacting button, like separately, like left or right click, is it's the same. So it's just all what the cursor tells us to do. This is the hawk. <laughs> it's just a bird roosting in its nest. It looks like someone has built a mailbox for it. I wonder why. Caw, caw. That's exactly how my voice sounds today. Just like you, bird. Oh, a briar rose is thriving among these brambles. Huh. A huge mushroom to which some chandeliers and weird items have been attached. Chandeliers? They meant the candles? Okay. There wasn't anything else, I think. Nope. 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 Now look here. A village of enchanted creatures. They look like gnomes. I only heard about them in legends. I shall try and interact with them. Great voices! <laughs> Well, I won't do a lot of voices or any voices at all because I only have this one voice at the moment and that's it. I know it's a very sexy voice. But... Oh, adventurer, welcome to the gnome village, home to the great builders and artists. Or so it should be. My subjects have been recently had a quarrel and now they can't accomplish anything no more. They have been working on the new library for days, but now the works are in a deadlock. As long as they fight, the situation won't change, I fear. Huh, what they fight about? Is that, is that, is that a big, big, big? Can I, can I go there? Huh, under this tree some wild mushrooms have grown. Judging from their nibbled conditions, they are edible. Exception made for the rat one. That one is still alive and well. It's a trap. Hey, gnome. Working in this village is impossible. They fill you with theft requests and just choke completely your genius. But I'm done. From now on, they want something. They can well do it themselves. I'm taking up botanics. It looks like there's a gnome on strike here. Hey, Bob Ross gnome. Everyone keeps within here and there is not even one gnome who understands my art. The balance of shapes, the juxtaposition of colors. Nah, they only know how to complain, those yoklets. <laughs> I do not think he's talking about me. It rather looks like he's mumbling something to himself. Okay, you better not. I'm Prince. Prince Yokel for you, please. Hello! This one with art, that other with style. No one thinking about doing stuff as it should be. I won't lose time on trinkets when the structure is straw and paper. It wouldn't withstand a cricket sneeze. This gnome does not look in the right mood for talking now. He looks quite nervous. Is that so? Okay, we cannot go down here. 
cannot interact with anything but the nose. My subjects have just stopped working. It seems they can't get along well anymore. Yeah. Oh, it's a great honor to host a real prince in our village. Unluckily, I'm not in good spirits now. I have to bear the ignorance of some pumpkins. Never mind. I'll vent with my art. Okay. Could go to the spriggans, pile some rocks, put a door, and they're happy. Would be much easier, it would. Oh, sure. You'll fit just fine among troglodytes. Whatever that is. <laughs> you got the same artistic taste. None at all. Huh. Sir, do not lose time with him. Come, please. I need to talk with you. Okay, come in. Me and the carpenter think that you could help us. You should get the architect to understand how much you like to see our new library. Me? How could I change his mind? He's a big hearted, a braggart and a vain gnome. He surely be flattered by the interest of foreign prince and his work. I will get him back to work for sure. You have to help us. Uh, so will you help us? Yeah! Fine by me. By now, I'm curious to see this library completed. Perfect, thank you so much. We're counting on you. Okay, uh, flatter. We're prince, we're good at flattery, I hope. Uh, I heard you are the architect of this pretty village. Oh, yes, yes, I am. Of course, it's me. I come from afar looking forward to admire the renowned architecture of the gnomish folk. You come for nothing then. The gnomish people just lost the greatest expert in the field. It is truly impossible to see the works of a master architect <laughs> of a master architect of your most excellent skill. I know there's a library in the works. The painter the painter is the greatest expert in ignorance. His requests and the other gnomes' demands make it impossible for me to work. How can anyone expect me to do anything up to my skill when I have to cater to the whims of the whole village? Well, to be honest, I would not know. Lazen! No one knows because no one cares to imagine how it is to be in my shoes. Uh oh. Mm. I see, but you know, maybe you could find an agreement. Seeing you working would mean much to me, and you want to see a sublime work? Want to witness the creation of this damn library? Well, do it yourself! Now you're the architect of the village, so even abroad they will get what bumpkins the gnomes of the forest are. Huh? What? What a wonderful idea! A foreigner bringing his architectonic style to our village, buried by the eternal thorns. You've got my full endorsement, young prince. We'll be honored to host your flair. But I'm a prince. I do not know how to construct a building. Our architect just now get through you all his studies. You can use them as you like and discard the less useful to your plans. If this can help easing your quarrels, I shall try. If the architect agrees, it does. Now you see what I was speaking about. Uh, now you're the one directing the works. What are they thinking? What's your role in this endeavor? I'm the one who will have to keep your project standing. I cut boards, craft pillars and work on the walls too. I'm the village's carpenter. If you want to know what I think, whatever you fancy the building should be, it'll need foundations raised from the ground. Okay, we need foundations. The village doesn't bear rain that well, and the books would get moldy very quickly. A foundation that would get nourishment from water. Uh, 
Up foundation that get nourishment from water will keep the building steady and dry. Reading is so good. I'm an expert reader. <laughs> Not. It didn't go exactly as planned, but you look way more trustworthy and clever than that grouchy architect. You sure do a great job. Finally, the building will have a likable shape, will be cozy and won't be full of frippery blocking my free ride in imagination. Yes, be careful. Give the wall the right importance so, they c so that I can give the right importance to myself and my paintings. What the fuck? You're not living in there. What are you talking about? Have you started working already? Good, good. I have just one request for the library. It should have a bird nest proof chimney. There's a damn postman bird haunting my nightmares. Every time his girlfriend comes to visit, he makes the nest on my chimney and I get smoked. I would like the new building to be spared from this fate. Okay. The sketches I drew while trying to please everyone are on the table. Do whatever you want with them. As an expert in your trade, would you have some hint to give me? I try to understand what these bumpkins want. Some can't even explain themselves clearly. If I were you, I would grill them mercilessly. I should keep it in mind. Thank you. Make sure you choose a room fitting the style of the village. Let's, do they have some more to say? You know what I like too? If I could look at the library and remember the spring. I feel it will bring us something special. You think you can fulfill this wish of mine? I shall see what I can do, Chief. You're a good lad. I trust everything will turn out alright. Okay, you want spring. Sure, the building will be likable, but not flashy, and the walls will be there waiting for me to enrich them with my art. I can barely wait. Mm. Foundations are the key to a solid building, raised and nourished. That's essential. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, no. No need to read the tutorial again. Okay, raised. That's raised and nourished for water. Huh. So before I chose that one, because he wanted to nourish by water. So I chose the one with the carrots, but it all fell apart. So I guess it wasn't the right decision. I don't know. Should I try the brambles? That's not a good foundation. The wet will go soak in the stones. Same here. Okay. This might also go moldy. Okay, let's try the brambles thing. The walls are already perfect. The roof I chose was that one. Uh, taking a thorny so the crows will not and yeah that was spring let's see before I had a different before I chose um, this one because I thought there are three openings and the crow cannot sit on all three at the same time but yeah he was still making bad uh, he was complaining about it, so I'll try this one. Okay, let's see what happens this time. From your face, I'd say your project's ready. Should I tell the other gnomes to start working? Yes! Yes, we can begin. Okay, now I'm curious if this works this time. 
All done. Let it not be said the gnomes were slickers when working. Fast and precise, as always. Good job. Oh, wonderful. What smooth, airy walls. They're perfect. I like the design, I'll say. My plants already contain perfection themselves. To be honest, I have some doubts about the structural stability. The foundation looks unstable. God damn it, it will crack again. <laughs> that chimney seems frightening enough to me. I dare the crow to build his nest there. Well, before judging, let's see how it is inside. Don't go inside! Uh, I knew it would happen. And so it were the wrong foundations again. This is a deadly trap. You okay, boss? Serves you right. How can you renounce up to professionals because of stupid quarrels? You crooks. Prince Architect, are you trying to kill me? This is high treason. No, no, no. My projects were perfect. This couldn't possibly happen. I assure you, it was an accident. I, I did not believe. Mm. Off the enchanted forest, the piece you broke. Now give up your mantle and wear your new yoke. Ah, now he's a gnome. Ah. I'm Prince Philip, and I shall save Aurora, the beauty who lies asleep beyond this cursed forest. And yeah, one prince is enough. As I said, we're playing a series of princes, and Prince Philip is next. And as I remember, Prince Philip was... Uh, Cinderella's prince, right? What's he doing here? No good. Anyways, <laughs> if you would like to see more of this game from the beginning when my voice is back to normal, I would love to make it a whole playthrough sometime. So if you want to see, let me know. Until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.